it is up to me to decide whether or not to live. I have the option of selecting joy, happiness, negativity, or suffering when I get up in the morning. Today I choose to feel life, not to deny but to embrace my humanity, and to feel the freedom that comes with the ability to continue making mistakes and decisions. When things go wrong, my character and the quality of my existence are determined by how I address them. I may either dwell in perpetual mourning, trapped by the weight of my loss, or I can choose to rise above the pain and appreciate the most precious gift I have, life itself. Take chances and make mistakes. This is how you grow. Your bravery is fueled by adversity. To get in some bravery, practice. Pain is only experienced for a brief time. It can last a minute, an hour, a day, or a year, but it will ultimately fade away and be replaced by something else. If I resign, on the other hand, it will be for an unlimited period of time. The view is well worth the effort, despite the difficulty of the hike. That suffering is there for a reason, even if you can't always see it. I believe that in order to be a champion, you must be able to see the larger picture. It's not about winning or losing, it's about putting forth consistent effort and overcoming hardship. It's about accepting and not being afraid of the agony you'll feel at the end of a race, suffering and ecstasy are a part of life. Anyone who tries to persuade you otherwise is attempting to sell you something. Life isn't always a level playing field. It's only that it's a better deal than death. Life should not be feared, rather, it should be understood. We don't remember days, we remember events. Life should not be feared, now is the time to learn more so that we can face our fears more confidently. Allowing oneself to be bullied into silence is never a good idea. It is never a good idea to allow oneself to become a victim. Accept no one's idea of what your life should be, instead, make your own. The reality is that you never know what will occur the following day. Life is a never-ending roller coaster with no promises. Without pain, there would be no suffering, and without suffering, we would never learn from our mistakes. To put it another way, sorrow and suffering are the keys to all doors, existence is impossible without them. Transform your scars into wisdom. You will be able to go past your suffering if you can sit with it, listen to it, and appreciate it. The most powerful spirits have overcome adversity, and the most massive figures have scars. I grew stronger as a result of my failures. My motivation was suffering. Although you may have been treated unfairly, the magnitude of your suffering foreshadows the heights to which you will rise in the future. Life is full with challenges, responding in fear and abandoning hope hurts our soul. However, we develop our spirit by fearlessly confronting and conquering obstacles with faith and optimism. If you're sensitive or emotional, don't feel bad about it. Allow this to serve as a reminder that you have a huge heart and aren't scared to exhibit it. Expressing your emotions is a sign of strength. Don't give up when things get rough. No matter how far life has driven you down or how much suffering you have endured, you can always bounce back. I have no regrets in my life. In my perspective, everything happens for a purpose. Your character develops as a result of your challenging experiences, and you become a much stronger person as a result. All of the struggles and disappointments I've encountered in my life have strengthened me. You may not realize it at the moment, but a good kicking in the teeth may be just what you need. Make the determination that you will do more than merely survive no matter what life throws at you no matter how difficult or unfair it may be. Regardless, you'll be successful. Point One of the most courageous decisions you will ever make is to let go of what is hurting your heart and spirit. Anyone can laugh with happiness, but only the brave can grin with agony, knowing the suffering. The misery of quitting is nothing compared to the pain. The discomfort will go away once it is finished teaching you. Pain has the ability to alter your personality, but it does not have to be for the worse. Take your pain and transform it into wisdom, face your life, its joys and sorrows, and take no shortcuts. There are many ups and downs in life. When you're in pain, it's easy to believe you're on your own. However, everyone in the world, regardless of their rank, goes through terrible times. 
Remember that you are your own strength and that it is up to you to stand up and keep going the next time you are confronted with a difficult situation.